What's up guys, we are over on World Flipper today and we are going to be taking a look at Metis and the team that I'm using her on. I have wanted a Metis for a long time, pretty much since she came out. So I was trying to pull her when she was featured on the banner and I couldn't get her and then I waited for the next banner, couldn't get her. And then finally when I was pulling for Beretta, I was able to grab a Metis and I was as excited to pull Metis as I was to pull the Beretta and the Turgis. So finally being able to use her, I wanted to start messing around with some Metis Thunder Fever teams. So what I did is I put together a Thunder Fever team that kind of cycles and charges the way that the Fever Gauge goes up and the way the Skill Gauges go up. So if you look at Metis, if you don't know what Metis does, and Metis has this really cool ability when she's in the main slot, her ability three is when this unit is the main unit, a skill is activated, 50% attack for this unit, max of 100, and for the first time, 500 to the Fever Gauge. So what this team is doing is it's entering Fever rather quickly, and when it does, it has a way to kind of recharge its skill gauge. We have her ability 2, which is going to be giving 30% to skill gauge when Fever is activated. We have Regis. Regis has a kind of cool little ability. When he's the main slot, he gets 15% skill damage. And then when this unit is in that main slot, Fever's activated, you get 25% to the skill gauge for him. So it, entering Fever kind of replenishes everything. And you have Shisuzu. Shisuzu is going to be giving the skill gauge when she uses her skill. It's just what she does. She's very, very nice with that aspect. And then I do have Neftim on the team. Neftim, I tried out a few spots there. You can run healers if you are using this team. You don't have to have Neftim here. You can put Thunder healers down there. You can put any kind of way of survivability. I was running Fiora down there for a little bit just to give healing. And that was a nice way to do it too. But with Neftim, her ability one and two is going to extend the fever mode time. And it's going to increase the damage further against broken down units and we have the Adonis. Adonis is going to be having that ability as well. He has 20% against broken down units and he gets damage up when the combo's up. And then we have the Inaho and Inaho is going to be giving attack to Thunder units all around. And then every time a skill is activated by Thunder units, they're just going to go up 25. So she's kind of like a little battery. So what's nice about this team is when you are going into Fever, the skills are replenishing. They are getting a huge burst of damage while you're in fever. And then the fever mode extends and it keeps cycling the skill damage that Metis drops these kind of like skill damage bombs. And for fever, just in general, I would still like if somebody was like what fever to build, I would still point them towards light fever if they had the specific units. I think light fever is still obviously much better. It's got a lot more support right now. That is pretty dang good. But for a Metis team, I really liked how this turned out. I tried Regis behind the Metis. I tried Inaho in the front row. I tried Adonis. I even scooted Christmas Shishiro in there a few times and tried him out with what he did. And this was the build that I enjoyed the most. There's a shorter fever nuke comp with Metis, which I want to do in a separate video, but this is just kind of like the longer, more extended version of the team that can take longer fights like Necropolis but for using Metis for the first time I'm happy how it turned out and something I do want to point out I did have Thor's hammer on Regis for a little bit I ended up enjoying having the Shadow Flash sword over on Regis more due to the fact that you're getting 30% to the skill gauge when the battle starts so having the Shadow Flash sword on the Shisuzu is almost redundant because her skill gauge starts at 100% when she's in the main slot anyway. And with the more skills you are activating on this team, since it is a Thunder team, you are stacking the axe for Metis more and more. So it was just, I wanted to get the skills going as quick as possible. And I tried any in the back row just to accelerate it, but it wasn't that great. So I just kind of left it as is here. But if we hop over and look at the run, you can hop on into the water level 70 labyrinth necropolis run here and I'll show you guys what this team is doing. I used to struggle when I first started playing this game when I was building up thunder teams in the first place, trying to clear out this specific necropolis run. This robot fight used to mess me up so bad in the very beginning. But now, I mean, this team just it's breezes right through it. You can see we've got the Regis skill coming up and the Metis and they go together. The Regis is already again at 50% and he's charging up. Shisuzu is about to go again. And what's very key here is you'll see the Regis ulti with Adonis into the robot to finish him off because this is on auto right now. If you manually run this team, you can save your ultis. And if you get really good at timing this with this team, I've been able to clear this out in about a minute 50-ish, two minutes, 10 seconds. That's been like the average on manual. And the auto is ranging anywhere from like two minutes 30 to two minutes 50, two minutes 45. So it's 
a Thunder team that can clear out this consistently and get it done. If you are just trying to build a team to farm Labyrinth though, you could clear it out faster with the Light Fever team. It just, it is what it is with this. But if you wanted to just run Metis, like you really wanted to just make a Metis team and run it to farm out like this Labyrinth or any kind of content, this is, and it is a lot more efficient on manual if you can time those ultis and save them for when you're in Fever or generating Fever to maximize your damage output. The AI will just throw these ultis out whenever it wants and it will completely either miss timing or sometimes it does it right sometimes you'll it'll do it in the correct timing and you're like oh that's cool but it's much nicer when running on manual especially with this team just wanted to show you guys that and this run was okay so two minutes 44 seconds that's been very very consistent with this team this is a nice little way to run menace it's my first time running menace i'm going to keep messing around with her I want to start doing hybrid fever builds. Sounds like a terrible idea saying it out loud, but I want to try to mix around some light fever and thunder fever together and just really start inhaling that copium team aesthetic and get that done. So I do appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this Metis thunder fever team with me. I will be covering the part two of the neon skyline tomorrow. Show you guys the team I'm using to take in to that harder difficulty boss. We have it unlocking at five UTC if I'm not mistaken. So that's going to be 9 p.m pacific standard time for myself if i think i did that correctly i think that should be the unlock time and i will show you guys the team comps that i'm using and just kind of go over all that stuff i did a little breakdown of what's coming ahead and that unit that we are getting we're getting love and that unit is going to lead to so many fun builds that i want to cover so hit that sub button if you're enjoying the content i appreciate you being here again and remember if you hit that thumbs up it'll help bring my rates up peace guys